Hi friends, uh, today I am going to discuss a little bit about ESR. We will be discussing, uh, we will be continuously hearing the name uh, ESR in our words. ESR uh, means Erythrocyte Sedimentation Rate. How faster, how much faster does erythrocyte sediment in a pipette tube? is called erythrocyte sedimentation rate in any inflammation uh, products of inflama inflammation gets raised for example fibrinogen is uh, such type of uh, a product of inflammation which gets raised in any inflammations in some inflammations these fibrinogens uh, coats RBCs These fibrinogens cause RBCs and causes aggregation between RCCs. As fibrogen level increases, increases in inflammation, this aggregation also becomes more. The denser RBC aggregates fall at a faster rate within a pipette tube. This is often tested uh, with uh, co-tested with. Uh, CRP levels, which means C-reactive protein, which is uh, an acute phase protein secreted by liver in in, a, in inflammations. Coming to some parts of uh, increased ESR, uh, these are the some most common uh, causes for increased ESR. Most of the anemias, infections, and inflammation like temporary arthritis, cancers. Uh, exclusively in multiple myeloma uh, and pregnancy in some autoimmune disorders where the inflammation is the pathogens is. and coming to some of the factors some of the conditions that decrease uh, sickle cell anemia because of the altered shape fibrinogens can't attach to RBCs and in some polycythemia uh, there is an increased levels of RBCs uh, which causes uh, uh, dilution of aggregation factors in heart failure microcytosis in which uh, RBCs are very small so that they can't uh, be aggregated by fibrinogens in hypofibrinogenemia this is something about ESR these are the conditions where ESR is increased these are the conditions where uh, ESR is decreased thank you